Hey, what's up guys? Pokemon Freak here. So today we're going to be working on a few Town Hall 10s. This is not the only one we're going to be uh, raiding with. Uh, I've actually already upgraded my Clan Castle in this one and my Spell Factory. They're already maxed out. Uh, my Dark Spell Factory, I haven't maxed it out yet. But right now, uh, I want to work on unlocking my Lava Hounds. That way uh, I could do a lot of Lunian. And as you guys can see, my Balloons are still level 5. I haven't taken them to level 6. Uh, so we're going to be doing all that in this account. So I kind of rushed it to Town Hall 10 just for that extra spell. It's a lot of help. But yeah, guys, so right now we're just going to work on unlocking our Lava Hounds. And before I start skipping through the raids, I want to talk to you guys about the matchmaking system and how it works. Because again, it got updated recently. And before that, a lot of you guys had um, sent me messages that you guys weren't fi uh, finding loot anymore. And since I hadn't raided in a while, I hadn't noticed these changes because I hardly raid anymore. I just use the loot that I get from war because I have so many accounts. And we don't always win the wars, but when we do, we do get a lot of loot because we're always paired up with Town Hall 9s and stuff like that. And we're always 3 starting. So this account is in Silver League. I mean in Bronze League. And uh, so when I went in for wars, I noticed that I started getting a bunch of Silver League. As you guys can see here, that's a Silver League 3. And the game starts pairing you up with people you're supposed to be with not with the league you are so in a way i guess they're ignoring the trophy system because again we're going up against silver league 2 here and uh, what i notice is you, every now and then like skip five and maybe restart uh your war search like get out and uh, restart your search for um for a village to raid because that's what i've been doing and i've been getting uh some loot as you guys can see here that was bronze, but again, he was a Town Hall 10 because this is a Town Hall 10. So I started seeing a lot of Town Hall 10s. And yeah, there's still some effortless raids that exist, but um, it's not as many as it was back then when you would just go in and get like uh, defenseless Town Hall 8s. Now you're going to get Town Halls around your area. Not It doesn't really measure you defense-wise. It has something to do with your troops now. But even then, we run a Town Hall 8 troop composition. And we haven't seen any Town Hall 8s. And as you guys can see, this is a Town Hall 9. If I had my Lava Hounds, I could have probably 3-starred this base. But I haven't unlocked them, and that's what we're going to work on now. And as you guys can see here, this is a Town Hall 9. It was eff it was Actually, it's effortless, as you guys can see. So we're just going to throw in a few balloons. All right, guys. So what you guys are going to want to do is restart your search for a village to attack. Like, maybe every 5 or 10 Town Halls. Like, don't go in for too long, because then it's going to start rising like you're gonna go from bronze league to silver to silver two and all that stuff so yeah just restart every now and then all right guys so now we're just gonna go back in that last village took us about a minute to find um i didn't really edit anything out besides just cut it to the end right here um so as you guys can see our first click and we get an engineer town hall 10 now we're not gonna go for this one because he does have a lot of gold but right now what we're looking for is the elixir and he doesn't have much elixir um, so we're just going to keep moving, see if we could find anything and we'll be back as soon as I find a village. All right, guys. And I just started, restarted my search and about three clicks in and I find this one. Now he doesn't have a lot of elixir, but he does have a lot of gold. So we're just going to go in for the gold. And remember guys, keep restarting every five to 10 town halls. Alright guys, so it looks like we got enough to unlock our Lava Hounds, so that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put down uh, the Lava Hounds so we can unlock them already. We're going to do that right now. Mm. So yeah, uh, so now that's going to take some time. And right now I'm just going to show you guys my attack log as you guys can see here. Um, it's pretty much all good loot. There's not that many effortless raids again, but balloons are a good way to raid because as you guys can see, some of them I didn't take too many balloons. Other ones, well, they were effortless, and I only waited for an hour and 12 minutes, and I got over 1.5 million. So, yeah, guys. So, now let's just move on to our next town hall. So, now we're going to be working on our defenseless um, town hall 10, as you guys can see here. We're going to be trying to upgrade this Dark Elixir drill. We need 1.6 million to upgrade it. Uh, so, yeah, we're just going to do that now. We're going to try to get all that loot. And, well, this first click, as you guys can see, it's a town hall 9. Uh, defenseless and it's pretty um it's pretty much effortless so we're just gonna go in with uh one or two valkyries my king and my queen and we'll be back as soon as i'm done
And just like that, as you guys can see, we have more than enough 12 grade or dark elixir drill. And right now I'm gonna fix up my troop composition a little because I threw in my golem by accident. I didn't mean to. Uh, I also threw in my hog riders, so I have to make some of those. So right now we're just gonna eliminate a few Valkyries. So we have more than enough room to throw in our, well, our golem again. So yeah, guys, right now we're just gonna put down our um, dark elixir drill and we're gonna move on to our town hall 10, which it was formerly a max town hall nine. So you guys can see how I rate on that one and how the loot is on that one. Now it's gonna be my first time rating on it. So yeah, guys. So a few days ago, I got the one week shield for this um, town hall because uh, as you guys can see, we have a lot of gold and I didn't really want to lose it while our town hall upgraded and it just finished upgrading. Also, we almost have enough for a clan castle, but I want to do my air defenses first because again, I want to defend against those air troops. So we're just gonna jam it a little here and we'll be back as soon as the shield's over. All right, guys, so we're back and our shield's over. Uh, we got 5 million gold and we got this because we were raiding in war and we got some of that gold and whatever our collectors uh, took out. Also, we gemmed our queen because I had over 60,000 dark elixir and I didn't really want to raid for that dark elixir. So I just gemmed her to take her level 15 already. And right now, I don't have enough dark elixir to do a La Lunian attack. So right now, what I'm going to do is just do a dragon raid. So we'll be back when I'm done. All right, guys. And as you guys can see, we got more than enough with just two raids. We got over 1 million gold. So right now, we're just going to put down our air defense. And the whole reason I'm focusing on my air defenses right now is because I want to stop those air raids from Town Hall 10s and Town Hall 9s because we get, keep getting paired up with them. And this will stop the draws. And again, guys, uh, I'm going to max out my air defenses first, then my archer towers, and first anything that attacks air, that's what, we're, what, that's what the plan is. And if you guys have a Snapchat, please add me. I will be sharing more stuff on there. I'll also be giving you guys tips on what programs you guys can use to edit and stuff like that. And I'll be doing other Clash of Clan related stuff on there. So if you guys want to add me, please do so. That's all for now. And if you guys like what you saw, please hit that like button. If you guys don't want to miss my next video, please hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, Pokemon Freak out.